Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is a spectacular Saturday afternoon. 12 races to look at. Track announcer Pete Aiello has the track in weather conditions. It's an action-packed 12-race card on a Saturday afternoon in South Florida with great weather conditions for horse racing. A fast main track and a firm turf course. Temperatures in the upper 80s. Partly cloudy skies today. First of the day over the turf, a maiden special weight event for two-year-olds. Scratch number nine, Midnight Entree. Field of eight, off-time favorite number one, Shazir. Racing at Gulfstream. Step slow to get going with Shazir. Was a good start from between horses for Macho Mania, who hits the ground running from between horses. VJ is up to challenge. Quasar Moon on the outside is now third. After a slow start, Shazir is down toward the inside, angling for racing room and on hold by Paco Lopez. Outside of him is Home Drill. Then back to Curioso ahead of Roaring Ocean. The early trailer is Farquhar as they round the first turn. With the lead, it's VJ by a neck. Quasar Moon not happy with the tempo and quickens up the pace to put a neck in front. These two have now sped two and a half clear of Shazir, who's a joint third alongside home drill then it's a gap of three to macho mania who got a crack on the shoulder to quicken up again a length better than curioso out wide is farquhar and the trailer is roaring ocean 24 and one for the opening quarter speed there's five furlongs left to go quasar moon and jockey edgard zayas with the advantage by a half a length home drill moves to be second shazir on the inside third three back to macho mania fourth and curioso that's all for vj passed outside by roaring ocean and farquhar is last of all through a 48 and two half mile around the far turn they go three furlongs left to run with the advantage it's quasar moon by a length and a quarter shazir now moves into second and looms a threat from the outside home drill is third back to fourth macho mania then curioso who's tacking on in the blue blinkers with a quarter of a mile left to go zayas goes to work on quasar moon paco on the attack with shazir on the outside macho mania third and chiming into it with an eighth of a mile to go shazir a bit green but kicking clear on the outside and macho mania launching late macho mania shazir shazir just in front macho mania second best to shazir a three to two winner macho mania was second quasar moon third then furioso and farquhar in 137 and four number one shazir wins for the pittsburgh steeler fans not only were the fans happy but the owners were happy as they are steeler fans j and g stables and trainer carlo vacarezza get the job done this horse is owned in partnership with Nick Vacareza, Paco Lopez on board for the winning ride. For the second race now, on the start of the 50 cent early pick four, six furlongs the journey. Claimers in for a price tag of $6,250, a field of eight, and this was a wide open betting race. And they're off. Out wide, leading on, you're leading you on, gets the first call. Rethink Me has speed, and at the rail, Indian Myth. These three fly away, working about three ahead of Miss Surprise, who's out of their fourth. Back to fifth is Bun Bun, then Fun and Games, and Beyond Sand. And Tiki Taka on the turn back has no speed of any kind, and is last of all as they go to the half mile point. Indian Myth at 45 to 1 leads the second horse, Rethink Me, by about three parts of a length. Moving to third is Miss Surprise inside of Leading You On, then Fun and Games and Bun Bun. Beyond Sand's at the back. Back and trying to get motivated as Tiki Taka with three furlongs left to go. Rethink Me blows by Indian Myth and moves two ahead of the th second horse who's Miss Surprise who now takes over second leading you on is next. They're stringing out behind the top two. Fun and Games Bun Bun trying to get rallies going from the back but they're better than seven lengths off the lead and Rethink Me keeps going. Off the turn in the stretch drive. Rethink Me and Romero Mirage trying to get three sixteenths more. They're on a six length lead. Miss Surprise is clearly second. Then to the outside Bun Bun with Late interest alongside leading you on in fun and games. 16th to go for Rethink Me, and she's clear. Rethink Me getting tired but holding on to win it. Under Jockey Romero Mirage by about three and a half in the end. Leading you on, re rallies for second, Bun Bun third, then Miss Surprise. And 112 and three. Number three, Rethink Me was strong up top today, throttling to a clear lead and holding on to win it. Under Romero Mirage, her owner trainer Patrick Marcondes. Second, number seven, leading you on on a re rally for second, ahead of the eight, Bun Bun who ran third. Time for a commercial break. Still a lot of action to come. Don't go away.
back now for the third race of the day. Six and a half furlongs over the main track. Made in Claimers in for $35,000. Scratch number nine, Princess Dynamite. A field of nine. Off-time favorites included the four, Jeltron, and the seven, Hot Fudge Honey. And they're off. Step slow to start was Dixie Sweetness. Good start from between horses for Jeltron, who hits the ground running with Megusta Poppy showing speed. Here's Nonsense. Quickly up the challenge from the rail and the daughter of Golden Sense. Nonsense puts a neck in front. Jeltron will race from second ahead of Megusta Poppy third. Hot Fudge Honey is away in fourth and splitting horses Dixie Sweetness. Oblio's Wish is about five wide down the backstretch, racing ahead of Porsche third last. Yita is second last and Zal's Dream is last as they go past the half mile point. 22 and three for the opening quarter speed. Up front. It's nonsense. In front by a length and a quarter. Jeltron, the nearest pursuer, second. On the outside, Hot Fudge Honey has made it up to be third. Megusta Poppy tore the rail. Followed by Dixie Sweetness, three better than Oblio's Wish. Then Zao's Dream ahead of Poshia. Yita's last. To the top of the stretch they go. Paco looking around for competition. He's got him on the stretch here as nonsense turns first with the lead. Jeltron still there for second on the outside. A late run coming from Zao's Dream and they're at the top of the stretch. Nonsense now has to kick for more as as Jeltron continues to run alongside. Three back to Zal's Dream, who's still in with the shot from third. Final eighth of a mile. Now Paco gets serious on Nonsense, and Nonsense gives him plenty. She leads two and a half. Jeltron's trying to hold on to second. Nonsense. Gate to wire. Jeltron second. Zal's Dream third. Close for fourth. Oblio's Wish or Dixie Sweetness. And 119 and three. Number one, Nonsense, fired up toward the inside, and the daughter of Golden Sense comes ready to roll in the career unveiling, giving Paco Lopez two out of the first three. This one for Armando De La Cerda and Big Bang Racing. Second four, Jeltron, and third was number six, Zal's Dreams. To race four now at five furlongs, two-year-old maidens of the Philly variety, and a field of seven, all the money on one, Abuela's Love, and seven, Trunk of Money. And they're off. Step slow to start, both My Sarasota Star and Trunk of Money. Good news for the favorite, Abuela's Love, who kicks to a clear advantage early. From between horses, Princess Zaya moves to take second. Leilani is with her and races in third. Back to fourth is Sheik and Sexy, then Wicked Mandate. Trunk of Money is passed outside by My Sarasota Star, who now fires up toward the rail. She's on the move all the way up into fourth as the big favorite has the lead. Edgar Zaya is in Abuela's Love after a 22-2 opening quarter speed. Five sixteenths from home and a half length in front. Princess Zaya second, Leilani had driven third. My Sarasota to star angles for racing room four wide on a move then back to the outside and chic and sexy nothing from trunk of money and they're at the top of the stretch abuela's love kicks clear at the eighth pole to lead by three leilani's gonna try to get into second with princess zaya then my sarasota star and chic and sexy but all the board the three to five favorite abuela's love a gate to wire winner abuela's love sharp in victory she won by three and a half leilani second princess zaya third then my sarasota star and chic and six Number one, Abuela's Love lives up to the billing here, giving Cairo Prince another sire victory on the program. He sired the winner of the first, he sires the winner of the fourth, as Abuela's Love shows sharp speed, going gate to wire under Edgar Zayas, the trainer Eddie Pleasa Jr., and owners Carl and Kathy Glassman. Second, number four, Leilani. Third was number five, Princess Zaya. We move now to the fifth race of the day, a mile over the turf. Phillies and mares in for a claiming price of $10,000. Scratch the one in 14, the 13 drew in. We had a field of 12, the favorite was the nine, the gift of glory. And they're off. Toward the inside, got Glee ridden hard to get the early lead. Faithful Sue is now marching to challenge from second. Miss Sophia stars away racing third. From the far outside, Miss Violet gets over to race in fourth, but she's still about four wide. Geo Patricia moves up next in fifth. She's about four lengths off the lead and last of the main flight. She's three better than Natrona Girl. Then comes Extra Salsa, working ahead of Sister Drama. Back to the favorite gift of glory. She's fourth last. Third last is Troya. Second last, and while inside, is Hottie Tuck and draft is last of the 12 through an opening quarter in 23 and three. Up the back stretch they go. Faithful Sue has been dogged every step of the way and leads the way a half a length over Miss Violet second. Miss Sophia Star is now third. Got Glee parked at the rail fourth. Followed fifth by Geo Patricia who's three better than Extra Salsa and Natrona Girl. Then it's two more to the favorite Gift of Glory who starts to improve. She's in the black cap white silks down toward the rail about seven lengths off the lead. Then Troya second last remains Potty Totty and draft 
left is still last of the 12 and about 10 lengths off the lead as they swing around the far turn. Faithful Sue has the lead. Got Glee needs room bad. She's third. Miss Violet still second. Then Miss Sophia Star. Geo Patricia extra salsa. Natrona girls got no place to go. Decision time for the favorite gift of glory. Then Hottie Toddy. Draft tries to run home. Troy is last as they wheel in. Faithful Sue has them stretched out a bit, but Got Glee into the clear and on the attack now second. Then back to the outside and here's the favorite gift of glory. Final eighth of a mile. Faithful Sue pleading for the wire, but gift of glory gobbles her up. Gift of glory now surges clear to lead it. Back to second. Faithful Sue. She'll be overhauled by Hottie Toddy. Gift of glory wins. Second Hottie Toddy. Third Faithful Sue. Tight for fourth. Got Glee or draft in 137 and one. Paco Lopez back in South Florida after his usual summer stay in New Jersey. He has only taken a couple days to make a big impression as Gift of Glory gives him his third winner of the day. This one for Safi Joseph Jr. and owner Frank Calabrese. Second number 10, Hottie Totty, ahead of the eight faithful Sioux, who tried to spring the upset but had to settle for third. Time now to turn our attention to race number six at five and a half furlongs. Phillies and mares in for a claiming price of $6,250. A field of eight signed on. All the money for four. 40s, sweetheart. And they're off. Level beginning. From the outside, that's Gemstone Linda who gets the first call, but there goes the favorite, 40 Sweetheart. Not messing around here. She's got some added pop and she's right to the top. From Threat, who's at the inside in second, our way in third is Gemstone Linda. These top three have gone four ahead of Italian Smile, who's now back to fourth. At the inside in Clouded Appeal, followed next by Dancing Noel and Lexi's Doll, trailing his Power Jack. Around the far turn they go, and now Threat kicks to a clear lead, but 40 Sweetheart let her do it, and she's now second, only a length off the leader. Back to third is Gemstone Stone Linda, they went 22 and 3 for a quarter speed, and there's 5 sixteenths to go. Threat has the lead by a length and a half. Jaramillo getting after 40 Sweetheart to try to tighten the narrow, the margin again. Back to third and Gemstone Linda, and they're at the top of the stretch. Threat and Kevin Carmona come away with the lead. 40 Sweetheart to the attack now, second, four lengths clear of Italian Smile and Gemstone Linda, and 40 Sweetheart now overhauls Threat, and she's kicking clear. One to two favorite, Jaramillo, Zerpa. It's all about 40 Sweetheart. 40 Sweetheart by two and a half. Second is Threat, third is Gemstone Linda, and fourth is Italian Smile. Number four, 40 Sweetheart responds to the barn change with some added pop and an easy victory under Isael Jaramillo for trainer Gilberto Zerpa and GV21 Entertainment. Second three, Threat, third seven, Gemstone Linda. They could not match strides with the odds on winner. Time for a commercial break. When we come back, the Rainbow Six sequence as the Saturday card in South Florida rolls on. Don't go away. Back now for race number seven on the program. This race was the start of the Rainbow Six. Over a quarter of a million dollars in the Rainbow Six jackpot today. It starts on turf at one mile. Claimers in for $10,000. Scratch the six, 13, 15, and 16. The 14 drew in. We had a field of 12, and the favorite was number nine, Immunity. And they're off. From the center, that's De Maestro who gets the first call. Diamond Majesty away in good shape, moving at the inside. Darn that Parker, and darn that Parker will protect his rail position and take the lead in the charge to the first turn. De Maestro right alongside second. Diamond Majesty out in about the four path. He races from third. Tucking in off the top trio is Grand Junior, then going to the beach. He's in the blue and down toward the inside. Cape Dynasty's on his outside, a length and a half better than Smart Return. Three parts of a length to Independent Worker, who's mid-flight, working a length and a half better than a well-held Hope Town. Favorites near the back of the field. Immunity three wide while second last. Just in front of him is Gunship and the trailer is get a move on it. The opening quarter was 24 seconds flat down the back stretch they go. Darn that Parker and Marcos Manessas carving out the fractions. They lead by a neck. Pace pressure comes from Diamond Majesty in the two path second. Grand Junior is third. De Maestro back to fourth and Cape Dynasty. Length and a half back to going to the beach ahead of Independent Worker. The favorite immunity is in the pink and black colors. He's being asked to quicken by Camacho. Still a pretty long way behind. Smart return to his inside. Then comes an improving gunship getting around Hopetown. The trailer 
remains get a move on it. Around the far turn they go. There's less than three furlongs to go. Diamond Majesty goes to try to get darn that Parker. Cape Dynasty is there with Grand Junior. Immunity starts to hit his best stride, but it'll be no less than seven wide, and they're at the top of the stretch. With a lead, Diamond Majesty, independent worker to the attack now on the outside. Back to third, and darn that Parker down the center in Immunity, who's running out of time. Final eighth of a mile. Independent worker strides to a clear lead under Roberto Alvarado Jr. Independent worker on the board at 45 to 1. He won it by two and a half from Diamond Majesty. Second, a photo after that, 137 and 4. Hold on to your hats, folks. It's a 45 to 1 winner to start today's Rainbow Six sequence as number 11, Independent Worker, gets back to back scores, making his Gulfstream Park return after a victory last time out in northern Louisiana at Evangeline Downs. Ken Wesley trained the son of High Cotton for Roberto Alvarado Jr., who was the winning rider, winning owners, KE Racing Stable. To the eighth race now on the start of the late pick five, six and a half furlongs the journey, made in claimers of the two year old variety, in for a $35,000 price tag. Scratch the one, New Year, field of 12. This was a wide open betting race. And they're off. Slow beginnings for a variety, including Sir Jack, fourth design, and Dr. Devereux's way. Good start from the inside for Winter's Wonder, who hits the ground running from between horses. Fill the vibe away in the top flight with Loudon Song also away in the top flight. Far outside, it's King Leonardo with first and three just to his inside. A gap of another three to Dr. Devereux's way. Then down at the inside goes My Own Mo. Out wide is the favorite Cosmic Shift. He's dropped better than five lengths off the lead ahead of Imperial Majesty. Then it's a length and a half back to Nairobi. He wasn't fast in the stride. He's now at the back of the main field, two and a half in front of fourth design and left behind last the trailer sir jack around the far turn they go less than three eighths to run on the inside that's loud and song for a narrow lead right on his outside is first and three who issues the challenge in first and three doing the better work at this point loud and song put to a drive and battles right back these top two have kicked four ahead of nairobi who's going to try to run around king leonardo and they're at the top of the stretch first and three has now kicked clear to a sizable lead it's better than three lengths now loud and song is trying to hold on to second. Then it's a late run from Cosmic Shift. Nairobi flattens out. Late run down the center from My Own Mo, but they're battling for minor awards. It's all about Dave Fox and Nick Juarez, first of three, with an easy win. Loud and Song second. I think My Own Mo gets up for third ahead of Cosmic Shift in 118 and two. 45 to one to start today's Rainbow Six. How about 15 to one to start today's late pick five as the hits keep coming with number 12, first and three, winning easily under jockey Nick Juarez, the trainer Dave Fox and owner and breeders, the three gin guys racing stable. We move now to the ninth race of the day, the start of the late pick four, five furlongs on turf, allowance optional claiming event, price tag here is $16,000. Scratch the four, 12 and 13, a field of 10, Favorites were one, Bright Venezuelan, and two, Pacara. And they're off. Good start from the center for Lady Greatness, who goes looking for the lead. Our little secret has speed. So does Richie's sister. They're the first three out. Far outside, Celtic Moonlight tries to gain some forward position, and Saul Salida's on heels, working three ahead of the favorite, Bright Venezuelan, who's mid-flight and about five lengths behind. Then down on the inside goes Pecara with Heaven's Pulpit for company on the outside. She's the gray about eight lengths off the lead. The two at the back are Who's Calling and Cowtown Jane. Around the far turn they go. Richie's sister holds the inside edge from Saul Salida's second. Our little secret, three wide third, Celtic Moonlight, four wide fourth, five wide Heaven's Pulpit. Good trip for Bright Venezuelan. She'll need a way out, but she's running home. Lady Greatness is next with Picara, and they're at the top of the stretch. Richie's sister has an eighth of a mile more to get, but Bright Venezuelan goes on the attack now. Far outside in Heaven's Pulpit with a late run. Richie's sister still there. Bright Venezuelan's running out of time. In fact, she is out of time. Richie's sister will go gate to wire. Bright Venezuelan second, Picara third than Heaven's Pulpit and Lady Greatness. Three upset winners in a row as number nine, Richie Sisters, is the upset winner this time at better than 20 to one as the speedy daughter of Cowtown Cat goes all the way under a heads up ride from Miguel Vasquez for Joel Saner and trainer David Bratty. Second number one, Bright Venezuelan. Third was number two, Picara. Pick three in this race paid almost $5,000 for just a 50 cent play. We'll go now to the 10th race of the day, the start of the late pick three, one mile over the main track. Claimers in for $6,250, a field of nine, all the money on number one, Katana's Edge. And they're off. 
It was a clean start for the favorite, Katana's Edge, from down toward the inside. Bluegrass Envy moves in the center to challenge. Seba's Ranger won't be far away, and Dreamy Martini's looking for some forward position. Far outside, it's High Dandy. Then back to Jackism, racing ahead of Il Ferroni. The two at the back, 77 stone, and stay in cruise. Out of the chute and on to the main course, going to the opening quarter mark. And up front, Bluegrass Envy crosses and clears and leads three parts of a length over the opening quarter in 24 seconds flat. The big favorite is in a flanking roll second, Katana's Edge. Dreamy Martini at the inside is now third, followed fourth by Seba's Ranger. Then Jackism, he improved inside of Vilferoni. Then it's High Dandy. And then it's a gap of another five lengths back to Stay and Cruise. Farther back to 77 Stone, who's a long way behind. Opening half mile complete. They covered the half mile in 46 and four, and they swing to the far turn. Rail is open for Dreamy Martini, and here's Mirage sending Dreamy Martini through on the fence to challenge for the top. Katana's Edge let go by Zayas, three wide enough to put a neck in front. Bluegrass Envy is being out kicked. It's two and a half lengths back to High Dandy, then Jackism. Seba's Ranger between Ilferoni at the rail, and they're at the top of the stretch. The two to five favorite Katana's Edge has been overhauled by Dreamy Martini, who's a clear cut leader. Off the turn and the stretch drive, seven to one shot. Dreamy Martini begins to flee the scene. He's opened a five length lead now. Katana's Edge is completely out of gas toward the inside. Il Ferroni, Jackism, and High Dandy. They'll run the favorite off the ticket as they come to the finish. Dreamy Martini is an easy winner. Dreamy Martini wins it by five in the end. High Dandy second. Il Ferroni was third. Fourth was Jackism ahead of Katana's Edge in 138 and three. Well, if the Rainbow Six wasn't hard enough to be alive in, the two to five favorite Katana's Edge goes up in flames here in race number 10, as number four Dreamy Martini secured inside position around the far turn and kicked clear to a seven to one score, giving Romero Mirage his second winner today, this one for Patrick Biancone and DP Racing. Time for a commercial break. When we come back, the late daily double, the Miss Gracie, right after this. A passion for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder, and trainer, Hardacre Farm, based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm. From the breeding shed to the racetrack. In pursuit of producing the best. Back now for race number 11 on the program. This race was the first half of the late daily double in the Saturday feature race. The Miss Gracie Stakes on turf at seven and a half furlongs for three-year-old fellies racing for 75,000. Scratch the six and the nine, field of nine. This was a wide open betting race. And they're off in the Miss Gracie. Perfect beginning. Treasure for Gold, one of the first to begin. She'll use some of her tactical speed to work over from post number 10. In fact, Paco looks intent on the front with Treasure for Gold. She moves to the lead by a length and a quarter. Racing in second, up on the outside, and a bit keen is Shanghai Starlet with Cry Uncle three wide, then back to Midnight's Foray. Florida Fuego is toward the rail. White Heel Girl is three wide and between horses. Second last is Weekend Mischief, and the early trailer is American Frolic. They sort themselves out in the run to the backstretch. Paco has hold of Treasure for Gold, who is favored and in front by an neck. Cry Uncle on the outside is second. Shanghai Starlet is third. Here's White Heel Girl, sensing a slow pace, moving up three wide to challenge. Midnight Soiree is on the back of the early leaders, racing only two lengths off the lead. Then it's a gap of two to Weekend Mischief ahead of Florida Fuego. American Frolic is last. The opening quarter speed was 26 seconds flat. Their pace has been a crawl. Treasure for Gold now turned up on the outside by Cry Uncle, who's going to take a narrow lead. Treasure for Gold battles back second. White Heel Girl is third. Midnight Soiree and the Red Cap splits horses and moves into third at the inside in Shanghai Starlet. Then Florida Fuego racing third last. Second last weekend mischief trying to tack on as American Frolic as they run to the top of the stretch. Separated by six lengths. Treasure for Gold back for more inside to take the lead. Midnight Soiree three wide and on the attack. Shanghai Starlet looks to thread the needle for Edgar Zayas and American Frolic let go from last and she's finishing up with full of run here. Final eighth of a mile, American Frolic set down for the drive by Miguel Vasquez over the top to take the lead. Midnight Soiree is right with her second, then Shanghai Starlet and Treasure for Gold. Florida Fuego for a slice. American Frolic wins the Miss Gracie. Midnight Soiree was second. Florida Fuego got third in 131 and two. 
Despite being dead last early behind some slow fractions, number two American Frolic goes last to first to win and win going away. The jockey Miguel Vasquez, the daughter of Blame, had the best stretch kick for trainer Dave Fox in the stride right racing stable. Four Midnight Soiree, second, one Florida Fuego, Renther. To the 12th and final race now, made in claimers in for $10,000. Scratch the one, two, three, six, 15 and 16. A field of 10, all the money on number five, first off. And runners away. First off is the first to break the line with Bonnie Scott away with speed. Love for Avi has foot. Dreaming of Mermaids on the far outside. These four are quickest. Followed fifth by Belinda. She's racing about four and a half lengths off the lead. Glotanasa improves out wide on the course. Mending Soul splits horses to join the top flight. Then it's a gap of another two lengths back. Second last early is Courthouse Kitty. La Chalupa and White Beauty bring up the back markers as they swing around the far turn. First off and Paco Lopez with the money on has the lead by ahead. On the outside three wide dreaming of mermaids bonnie scott still between horses glotanasa races from fourth it's a gap of six to belinda who gets around love for avi driven between horses mending souls then it's four back to white beauty and they're at the top of the stretch first off kicks it into another gear the money looks well spent on her she's opened up a six uh, six or seven lengths lead now paco lopez not even asking her to run he's just thinking about what he's going to do to pose for the picture it's all about first off first off and nothing more than a paid work she's odds on wrapped up up and about eight on top. Dreaming of Mermaids is going to hold second. Bonnie Scott reaching in and photos for third with Belinda, then mending souls to complete your high five. And a minute four flat. Number five, first off, had made a nasty habit of getting beat as the big favorite recently. Today, she went favorite. She was a big favorite, but she got the job done as easy as you can win a race. Jockey Paco Lopez wraps her up and poses for the picture as the odds on choice. Paco gets his fourth winner today, a training double for Safi Joseph Jr. and an owning double for Frank Calabrese. 14, Dreaming of Mermaids with second, 13, Bonnie Scott ran third. Even with the super long shots comprising the first three legs of the Rainbow Six, somebody had the Rainbow Six. It was a single winning ticket for more than $240,000. And that wraps up Saturday back here on Sunday with another 12 race card. And we have a great race to Tamiami with a world record holder on the turf. Pay any price carrying 130 pounds to see if they could stop that winning machine. Good night and good luck. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.